Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the month of October. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, this reading might not be for you, okay? If you're confused by it, then it's probably not for you. If you don't believe in tarot, then it's not for you. Um, yeah, so this is for Aquarius. We'll see what comes up. Typically, my readings are love readings. We're just going to see what happens. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, don't bother. This will just mess it up for you. Unless it's a work relationship, because tip, I've been seeing that you guys have been having a lot of problems at work. So that could certainly be the case. Some of you may have some work issues. Um, this is release. This is insecurities, okay? So if somebody is insecure. Now, this five of pentacles is like a gamble. It is. It's like a gamble. Heads or tails. What do I do? Which one's it going to land on? So you're gambling. You need to defend yourself, do you? You might, you might need to defend yourself. This is a loss of faith, not listening to your intuition, not listening to your inner guide, not believing in yourself. And that might be your, your own insecurity, not believing in yourself. You don't believe yourself, you don't believe your own intuition. Hmm. Ooh. Well. Uh, you know what came to me? Lust and love. Lust and love. Well, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see what happens. So, Aquarius. Be careful. Okay, I'm here to say, hey, seven of swords reversed. Be careful. Somebody could get caught. Somebody could get caught doing something. So, I mean, this is this is lust. It's lust. It's sabotage. It's addictions, obsessions. And this is truth coming out right next to get caught. So, beware. Beware, I don't know what's going to happen, but it just looks like something may happen that you may, you know, may cause you to defend yourself. You may be on the defensive. Um, this is lack of victory. Lack of confidence, lack of success. This is an opportunity for love. But you might have to walk away from something. Or somebody could be coming back. Be careful. Somebody's gambling. Be careful. Be careful. Somebody could get caught. If you're you, you could be dealing with another person that... I mean, there could be some cheating here. I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, I got to tell you what I see. This is a gamble. This is a risk, okay? This is risky right here. What's it going to land on? You know, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up. And the, here we have this is demons are no good, okay? This is something that isn't really good for you. Um, it could be anything. Sex, lies, and addictions okay it is and here we have uh something the truth is going to be revealed and the truth is going to be revealed okay something is going to come out something is going to be revealed and might cause somebody to walk away maybe it's your partner maybe it's you i don't know but this is a release i don't know that Ace of Cups, we're going to clear. Oh, this is the Grand Lux Tarot deck. And we're going to use this one as a clarifier. It's the New Era Elements Tarot. Um, that Ace of Cups. 
this truth is going to come out. Okay, it's going to be revealed. The mask is going to be ripped off of somebody, whether it's you or another person. That mask is about to come down. Okay, and it may. Um, Somebody's going to turn their back and walk away. That's what's going to happen here. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. I'm really not sure what this is. Um, there's a... Overwhelmed. Somebody is feeling overwhelmed. I'm not sure about what. With this Two of Swords reversed. This is emotional turmoil of some sort. But lies are being exposed. Definitely some lies are being exposed. Now we have Capricorn, we have Cancer, we have Taurus. Um, next to this Ace of Cups, we have the Chariot. Something is happening to, to move you along, because this is moving along. Help you to transform, because this is a card of transformation. Um, now this is a card of, of facing fears at all, as well. You fate, putting your, Taking the lead. To face your fears in something. Oh, goodness gracious. Five of Pentacles again, but it's reversed. To face your insecurities. Remember I said insecurities? Son of a bitch. So, I, I say that all the time. I can't stop myself. This, this right here is torment. And it's like releasing, because I'm going to put it right here. Releasing yourself from some sort of torment. Because this is a release. This could be self-love, I don't know, or somebody is offering you emotional support even. Because this is an offer of emotional support or emotional love. Ten of Cups. So you're going to, you are getting some sort of victory when this truth is revealed. It's going to make you happy. It's going to go in your favor by the looks of things. Whatever this is, it looks like it's going to go in your favor because it's going to bring you something. It's going to release some torment from your life, whatever it is. Somebody may be cheating or doing... This could be... The devil can often signify work sabotage. So, like I it's funny I started this out. A lot of you guys are dealing with work issues. Be careful. And these are be careful. Some truth is going to be revealed, but you might get on the defensive about it and go to defend yourself. Just keep it under wraps because if, some, if somebody's been trying to sabotage you at work, rest assured that it's going to go in your favor. You don't need to really go all out and defend yourself because it's going to go in your favor. Just yeah, defend yourself to an, a point, but don't go overboard, okay? Because if you go overboard, there will be no victory and success. If you master your emotions and keep it under check, there will be. Because this is victory and success. This is no victory and success with fighting. So I'm here to tell you that if somebody's lying at work or somebody's doing something behind your back, which they, they very well could be. Somebody's doing something behind somebody's back. He's hiding behind a wall. So you got somebody trying to manipulate, trying to cause problems in your life. And I feel like, you know, you're going to be the victor. You are going to be the victor. Yes, domination. Look at their arm wrestling. You have an opponent. You do. You do, Aquarius. You have an opponent that is up against you. And, you know, they're trying to dominate the situation. But I think, that, you know, when they say, and this is about just turning your back and walking away. Sometimes the best thing to do to win an argument is to turn around and walk away. Especially if it's at work. Because then the other person's going to get reprimanded. The other person's going to be the one that looks like an idiot. So this may be advice for you. Some You do have an opponent. There's absolutely no doubt about it, okay? Turn around and walk away. It's going to go in your favor. Do You know, and I know that the guard is going to be up and you like to defend yourselves. And uh, as do I. As do I. But the, in this case, let this person hang themselves. You know what I mean? Because that's what they're going to do. All right. So just... Um, yeah, there's something going on behind the scenes. There absolutely is. There is. But 
the best thing for you to do is, is not engage all right this this moon card is facing your fears it's about confusion it's about illusions it's reversed it's reversed that means that it's a reality okay reverse is reality okay upright is escapism reversed is reality so the real situation the real the truth is going to come out the truth is going to come out that's what i'm trying to say rest assured i know that you may be afraid that that's why you, you may have fears and that's why you want to defend yourself because you you're afraid these other people that are in the mix that aren't going to believe you and they're going to think it was you but i think that i don't think that's the case okay ace of pentacles yeah you're going to be absolutely fine that you are you are. This is this is uh this is like a reward. Okay? This is a the ace of pentacles is a reward. So if you do get into an altercation at work or if somebody has been trying to sabotage you because they're jealous or they don't like you or who knows what the reason is, rest assured that by walking away you will be rewarded by this. Okay? So that's just a message that somebody needs to hear. Remember, I said typically my readings are love readings, but for usually, I mean, they don't come out like that. Sometimes they don't, and if they don't, I can't. I'm not going to change it to be that. Um, can we get anything on love? On love. Um, this could have to do with love. It could have to do with love. It could. That's what just came. It just said, you know, this might be love for some of you. Oh, goodness. Four of Wands reversed. There's lack of contentment, lack of happiness, lack of commitment. So somebody could be deciding that they don't, they don't want to be committed to this anymore. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody that you're dealing with. Ooh. The universe. The world. Major new beginning. A lesson has been learned. You know what the lesson is? Walking away. It is. Not engaging. Not gonna, I'm not going to play this game with you. I'm not. That's true strength. That's true mastering. This is a card of mastering your emotions. It's a major. It's true. It's the true strength to master your emotions and walk away. Um... Now the universe, this is the world, this is about a major completion from unhappiness. I wonder if somebody's going to get fired. You're going to have a new beginning that's going to give you more money. Whether this is where you're at now, maybe you get a raise or a promotion or you move on to a whole new job or something because this is a new beginning. Both of these. Two of Swords. Reversed. You got it twice now. Two of Swords reversed is, is lies being exposed. And it could have to do with your job because it's right connected to this Ace of Pentacles. It has to do with money. So if it's not job, it could have to do with a bank account. Maybe somebody's been stealing from you. I mean, the Seven of Swords, that's 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 stealing. Seven of Swords reversed, so this is being robbed. So I don't know if somebody's stealing your money or somebody's trying to steal kudos for the work that you do or they're trying to stop you from getting a promotion or they're trying to stop you from getting a raise or who knows. But you definitely have an opponent here that is trying to... I mean, I can't think of the word. Shake you. They are. They're trying to shake you. They're trying to get you to fight. They're trying to get you to be defensive. So just keep that in mind. Just just beware. They're, this person is trying to, to knock you down. Okay, equilibrium, reverse. What's the opposite of that? No equilibrium. I mean, there's out of balance. Okay, they're trying to mess you up. They're trying to get you to mess up. Don't let them. Don't let them. The lesson is to turn around and walk away. When you can do that, 
you, and this is a major card of victory and success, and so isn't this one. It will be yours. The other person that is that your opponent, your opponent, they're not a happy person. They're not a happy person. This is the Ace of Wands. This is a new passionate opportunity. Whatever is happening is going to relight a fire or it's going to light a fire. Might light it could be Oh, I just got done saying I wonder if somebody's going to get fired. I hope it's not you. I don't think it's going to I'm sorry. I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be the other person. If that's the case. But this is like lighting a fire. You see the fire? So walk away. Please walk away. Maybe you quit. I don't know. But this is a, a new opportunity that has more growth. This is expansion. So it's going to work out in your favor. Because somebody has been going backwards. And something hasn't been getting off the ground. And, you know, you notice to get this shuttle off the ground, you've got to light the fire, you know. Um, so and here we have fire. So something is happening. So that you can you can have a, a new start of some sort with this world card. It's like, and this is the universe stepping in. Now, this is the, the Knight of Cups reverse. This is a false connection. It's a false opportunity. You know what I mean? Whatever it is that you have been involved in, not this new one, because this is a new one, the Ace of Wands. This is a new adventure, a new opportunity that's coming after there's been a false one, one that wasn't emotionally fulfilling Okay, this, this this was all top, no action. It didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. Okay, so I feel like somebody filled you up with some sort of uh, glamorous um, description. You know, you thought it was going to be much better than it was, and it was a complete joke. Okay, this is a joker. It is. It's a joker. You might as well just name the, the Knight of Cups reversed joker. Okay, so... You may have been um, led on to believe that something was better than it actually w is. And you may have been trying to stick it out and giving it your all. But you have a saboteur in the amidst you that is, is really trying testing you. You know, they're testy, 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 testy. And I feel like whatever this, whoever this testy individual is, there the truth is going to, there could be some sort of altercation in which... You know, they, they make it happen to see your um, response. You know, they want to see your response. They want to see you take yourself down. And, you know, it's up to you whether you let it happen or not, whether you let it take you down because you're dealing with somebody who is very sneaky, very shady. They're an absolute liar, and they'll do anything to get ahead. It's like if you think about corporate America, I want to climb that ladder, and I would do anything to climb that ladder, and that's exactly And they'll step on your feet, step on your toes, uh, gossip, do whatever they got to do to climb that ladder, to get, get up to that next step higher than you. And I feel like this is kind of like what this is. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't want you to climb. They don't want you to excel. They don't want you to get their opportunity. So just be really, be, be beware, beware, beware. Um, is there new love coming in? I don't think this is a love reading. I think this is a work reading. I think this has, to, it could be. I mean, it could be, it could be a love reading. I mean, you can make it fit if you can make it fit. But I feel like. There's a better, there is an opera, we do have love here with this Ace of Cups. Let's just take this out and clarify this Ace of Cups. Okay, what is this Ace of Cups? Now this could just be somebody that you work with that is on your side. It could be, or in your relate, or who knows if this is new love or what. What the hell is this Ace of Cups? Oh, truce. Truce! But that's reversed. There is no truce, right? That's that is the 
Four of Swords reversed. Revival. But that's no truce because upright is a truce. Wish fulfillment, happiness. Protection. Now this is about being logical, being very wise, using your intelligence. You know what I think? I think that if you react to this situation with love, you know, kindness, that there's that there's an opportunity for you to for you to come out on top, for you to get what you deserve, you know, to get what you want out of this. Something that's emotionally fulfilling. If you act with, you know, this is, use your intelligence here. Use your intelligence and step back. I think this is like step back from the situation. Like again, you will, you will get what you want because this is wish fulfillment, the star. You will get what you want. What, fi what fills you up emotionally, your heart will be happy with the outcome. If you handle this with tact, you stand firm and don't lose your cool, the outcome will go in your favor. It will be the outcome that you desire. You're going to be the victor in this situation if you're able to walk away. You will get what you're wishing for. I mean, this is wish fulfillment. This will give you the peace of mind. It will. It's going to bring you peace. It's going to make, it's going to, it's going to, it's like, it's going to make you very happy if you can walk away from whatever this is. Whether this is a relationship or this is a job. After you walk away, it's like your heart is going to be, you know, like the Grinch's heart grew th however many times that day. I don't even know, but that's what it is. Like your heart just is like, oh my God, there are good people out there. There's still good people in the world. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. So I feel like you have somebody that's on your side that maybe you don't know about this person yet, but I do think that you have, you have, you're going to have some sort of wish fulfillment out of this, whatever it is. Something is going to be exposed that tests you. And then, you know, once you pass the test, you get this new opportunity. Now you have these, these three aces. You have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. And they're all upright. So that's great. One, one, one. That's a wake-up call. Okay? Your thoughts become things. It's instant manifestation. So if you think positive, you know, whatever you, whatever you think is whatever you get. Okay? Um, be very, very, very much aware at this time of your thoughts because they're manifesting. Um, that's what's another thing when you see one, one, one. Um, something is going to happen probably really, really fast when this does happen. It's going to be like all of a sudden there's going to be some sort of altercation. I believe that you know it's happening to move you forward. That's what's ha why it's happening because of that chariot had happened. It's happening to move you forward and to bring you wish fulfillment, to give you the, the emotional contentment that you deserve. But at first, you know, you're going to have to discern the situation logically and handle it with tact. Otherwise, you may be the one that gets burned. So uh, somebody's going to get burned here and the way that you handle it is going to um, decipher the outcome.
okay? So I feel as though um, it, there's somebody's going to be released or something's going to be released, whether it's a partner or or the person that you're dealing with. I, somebody could get fired or walk away, quit, or walk away from a relationship or something like that. I feel as though in the end, you are going to receive the wish fulfillment that you deserve. Could it be new love? There could be new love here. There could be new love because you walked away from somebody that lied and cheated you. So if you're looking for new love and, and you've and you've taken care of that old situation and you're, you know, there is an opportunity for love here. There is. There's something very emotionally fulfilling coming in. Now, there's thousands of people that watch this reading, so it's going to resonate differently for each and every one. Um, I feel like you have been in a situation where there's no no chance in having a truce at, at this point. There isn't. There's no truce to be had. That phase with this world card is over. It, it, we're beyond truce. It's either going to be you go or I go. What's it going to be? Somebody's got to go. So I think that when somebody leaves, that's when that that abundance, that heart, you know, grew, grew, grew however many sizes that day. So, you know, I feel like um, it's, but it's going to work out in your favor because it's going to be emotionally fulfilling to you. So I feel like you are dealing with somebody that is knocking you off. You know, they're messing with your equilibrium. They're messing with your, your mojo. And there's probably going to be some sort of altercation that allows you to step into a better opportunity with, it, with that per altercation, that person, that saboteur being removed from the picture. So whether you remove yourself or they remove them or who knows, or the other person leaves or you leave, but I feel like this month is, is a time where there's going to be somebody is walking away towards something better. And that's what I see. So... And it's going to lead to a transformation. I mean, that chariot card is a transformation card. It is. It's where you you head towards more victory and success after this. Hoorah. So. Mm. Journey by Moonlight. Believe in magic. Magic is all around you. Spiritual dimensions and mystical realms are only a thought away. Remember I said? You're, you're manifesting. Your thoughts become things. The veil is thin right now. Absolutely it is. And between you and the realm of the fairies, elves, angels, and spirit beings, it's indeed a magical universe. And the key to opening the doors to these realms is to trust. And somebody hasn't been trusting. Even if you can't see, trust that you are being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways. You do. Somebody is, remember I said somebody's helping you. Somebody's on your side. I know, I knew it could be. Now this could mean somebody passed away and I forgot to tell you that. A, the Ace of Cups can often be somebody from the other side. Is on, Somebody from the other, I'm getting the goosebumps. Somebody from the other side is helping you. So look at that. I don't know if you can see and they're coming strong. So that's the message. That's exactly what it is. Somebody from the other side is helping you to get through this. They're 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 good. Oh my god, they're so big. Second time today. Anyway, let me get back to this. It's indeed a magical universe, and the key to opening the doors to these realms is to trust. Even if you can't see, trust that you are being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways. All is not as it seems. Trust your intuition in those nudges from spirit. Believe. Believe. When the traveler journeys by moonlight, mystical beings emerge and magic abounds in the depth of the enchanted forest. Even though the traveler can't see clearly, he trusts that blessings and support are being showered over him in his life. The key to having miracles transpire in your life is to believe in magic and trust that you are supported by unseen beings in accordance with your higher good. And that's exactly what this is. You are being supported by somebody from the other side. 
believe it. Walk away from this saboteur and you will prevail. Yeah, that was a good one. Talk to you next time.